Hi guys, it's Rob with another game design tutorial. And today I'm going to be talking about the importance of portfolios. So what is a portfolio? Well, that all depends on the position that you're trying to apply for. If you're planning to be a game artist, well then your portfolio is going to be primarily composed of art. 2D or 3D, depending on what type of artist you want to be. If you plan to be a character artist or an environment artist, well that's going to affect what's in your portfolio. If you're planning to be a, a game programmer, your portfolio is going to be made up of pieces of code or, you know, full scripts and codes that were used to uh, make make games work. And, you know, examples of their implementation in-game. A uh, design portfolio, you're going to be primarily composed of design documents. Any games that you design that show examples of compelling gameplay, uh, you know, mechanics, any play testing you did or, you know, uh, betas that you played through and just analyzed mechanics, fixed bugs... All that stuff would go in there. Now, why do you need a portfolio? Well, design st game studios today really want to see that you have the experience required and not just academics or, you know, well-rounded knowledge. They want to see that you can actually perform and do the task at hand. And that's where portfolios play a dramatic role in who gets the job. Now, I want to share with you guys my part portfolio, which is a bit of a combination between art and design. Which, it's not always a good idea to combine them. Sometimes you want to have, you know, separate ones. And this is by no means your, uh, by no means a great portfolio. But I did organize this in a way the portfolios, you know, would be organized. Uh, from, from tips I was given. So I wanted to show you guys on Behance here. Uh, you, as you can see, I have my character designs all together. And I have a brief description of each underneath. I have my, you know, 3D work all together. You know, and actually categorized out, okay, this is my 3D chess set, you know, resume put on there, uh, 2D environment art, and each thing has a brief description. You always want to describe the process and your role in each. If you have a, uh, a picture that you and one other person did, will you describe what you did in that picture or that render, you know, what you're responsible for? Here I was responsible for the whole thing, so I didn't have to list credits. But, you know, in order to stay ethical, you want to list credits if you weren't responsible for a part of a drawing, but 8-bit... And then we have the design stuff that I showed you guys, you know, some of these design docs. And I just, you know, it's, it's just really important when you organize your portfolio to take it through the stages. You know, to really break it down into, okay, this, these are my two characters. The, this is my 3D chess set. You know, and it's all going to reflect your personal talents as opposed to this right here reflecting mine. And I believe I actually have some examples of other people's portfolios if I could find them in my bookmarks. Let me see here. Um, hooking up to code, scripting, internships. Three, discover news. I'll just search it. Great game art portfolios. Here we go. Game art portfolio walls. See this in the world broken down. Character artist, environment artist. You know, this is what gets you a job, guys. Your portfolio is incredibly important. E3 inspiration. Uh, what is this? I'm going to go to a character artist. Here we go. See, so this is by Seth Nash. And as you can see, this, this is just you know, this is just a snapshot of his wall. This isn't his whole portfolio, but there's a snapshot of his wall and just, you know, one pretty crazy render that he did, you know, props to that guy. You know, he, he did a really good job. And, you know, this, this is the kind of stuff, this is where, you you know, you don't hold back, you showcase your work. Uh, creating, okay, Gamma Sutra released an article, what goes into a winning in art, game industry art portfolio. The only problem that I have really is that each company is looking for something specific. So, yeah, you could give general tips they did, and they did a great job. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all to come down to what's that company looking for, what can you bring to the table. You know, your portfolio is a huge part, but maybe it's also some other experience you have. If you experience, you know, programming or maybe not for such an art position, but if you had a prior internship or something, that could all turn the tables in your favor. But definitely, Gama Sutra, definitely read this uh, if, if you have any questions about what you're going. This is really a great generalized uh, source of information. Just always take everything with a grain of salt, guys.